What it do, YouTube? I'm back with another banging vlog. It's your man, Git, man. I'm back with some more of this trucking game, man. I got some real uh, good, serious information for those of you who have started your new authority. Um, I just created my new authority one year ago. It's our one year anniversary, man. Salute to Trucking Three Ways and myself and all those who were involved helping to put the entity together, man. Um, once you do create your new authority, they do notify you, the FMC does let you know that right at about one year, a little bit over one year or before one year, they will be auditing your business. And basically that what that uh, consists of, I guess they just basically wanna check and make sure that you're in full compliance with all the rules and regulations that the FMCSA requires of new authorities. So, uh, I checked my emails the other day and a CHP officer reached out to me and let me know that he uh, was going to be doing the audit of the business. If you do start your new authority, don't be looking for FMCSA to reach out to you. Whatever state that you live in, it will be the, uh, the state police basically actually reaches out to you to do the audit, man. So in California, they're called the CHP, California Highway Patrol. A lot of states, I know they're known as state troopers. So if you live in Texas, I guess this Texas state troopers will reach out to you. Uh, Utah or Nebraska, so forth and so on, man. So like I said, don't look for FMCSA to reach out to you. But um, they send over a long list of different things that they want you to uh, fax over to them or you can upload it through their website, FMCSA New Entrant Audit website. And um, it's crazy, man. I was looking on there, it was over 200,000 new authorities issued DOT numbers last year, man. So I was among the 200,000. So I'm sure all the other 199,000 people right now are compiling and putting together all this paperwork man they give you 20 days to put this stuff together i did it all like within two two three days just basically waited for the last document to come over from my uh, insurance company and uh so now i got everything in place for them and i just tried to upload it but the file is too large and i'm not real too computer savvy on how to you know compress files or whatnot so i'm gonna just go ahead and take it over to staples and fax it over there to them they said you can fax it so that's what i'm getting ready to do but um on that list guys they got a long list of things man and that's like one of the reasons a lot of businesses go out of business because either they have like bad bookkeeping or they run out of money but right here they want a driver list Basically that just, you know, they wanna know, they have a list of drivers who all work for the company, a vehicle list. They pretty much wanna know the VIN number, what kind of, uh, you know, tractor that you uh, possess. Proof of insurance, you gotta send over to them and it's not just a certificate of insurance, that's what I was actually waiting on. It's called a MCS 90 form and they want you to send that over there to them. Uh, drivers, medical record, your medical card, I uh, just renewed that about a couple months ago. You have to do that every two years, as you may already know. They want a copy of that. Uh, they want a copy of your driver motor vehicle record, your driver record. I had two infractions on my license, minor, basically for driving in the third lane in California. Semi trucks are only you know, permitted to drive in the far right two lanes, and I got caught slipping in that third lane, dealing with all this traffic. Hey, it happens, man, but... uh. Definitely been on top of that, trying to stay out of that third lane. It's a $250 ticket for one and a point and a half on your record, so we don't need any more of those, man. They want a copy of your driver's license. They want a uh, some information of uh, your driver's record of duty. So I have to go into my, um, my ELD, my motive ELD uh, administrators, log in and uh, Upload, you know, basically the records. They wanted records for the last 30 consecutive days, man. They basically want to see your logs for the last 30 days, to make a long story short, man. Vehicle inspections, you know, you're required to get an annual vehicle inspection on your trailer and on your tractor. And uh, in California, they like you to get every 90 days a bit inspection, but BIT, bit inspection. So I have uh, records of that. I'm going to send that over there to them, man. 
They want you to send over also a drug and alcohol testing records. If you haven't been tested, you do have to sign up with a drug and alcohol testing uh, company to kind of like monitor you and your drivers if they haven't called you out. To take a urine test to test you for drugs, you basically just got to send over some proof that you signed up with uh, one of those particular companies that do that. They want you to send over any accident records that you have had in the last three years. We haven't had any of those, thank God. And if you have hazardous material endorsement on your license, they want you to send over uh, it's a trip here. It says for H&M shipping papers, hazardous material. They want you to uh, motor carriers operating vehicles that haul hazardous material must retain shipping papers for each type of hazardous material transported. Wow, so those of you guys out there doing hazardous material, man, anything that you haul, man, save your BOLs or anything to do with those loads. And uh, that's some real good information for you guys out there hauling hazardous material, man. So out of that list, we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven different items that were requested from the CHP, uh, being requested through them from the FMCSA, just to make sure that uh, my company, Trucking Three Ways, is in full compliance, which we are, man. And I pat myself on the back. I'm not really nervous about it. I spoke to the gentleman the other day. I told him that, you know, hey, the same day that I got your email, I had immediately start working on um, getting all the required documents that you uh, want me submit to you. I was just waiting for that one document. Like I said, it's an MCS 90 form that you have to request from your insurance company. They don't want you to just send over your certificate of insurance, even though I'm gonna send that as well. But uh, MCS 90, it's a form, you know, at first I went on in and was getting ready to upload it and fill it in myself, but I'm glad I didn't. I reached out to my insurance company and asked them about it and they didn't even have it. They have to actually reach out to the, uh, the company that's insuring you and it actually comes directly from them to your email, man. So um, I pretty much got everything in place, man. Was just going over everything, making sure, you know, I had everything in place. Also, they wanted you to send over like, uh, if, you, if you're down as interstate trucking, you have to send over some type of proof that you've at least did one trip within the year interstate. So I had like some, uh, when you go through New Mexico, you have to pay like a, a toll fee to drive through New Mexico. I had a couple receipts from there and I sent them about four or five different receipts from different cities and states from the fuel islands. You know, we spent plenty of money at them fuel islands. So um, you'll see that I sent them one from Texas uh one from colorado and one out of pennsylvania man and he see the receipt going through new mexico so that's more than enough evidence that we have been uh trucking you know all through the united states man so i'm gonna go ahead and shoot over the staples guys fax this over there to them man and uh yeah man you know real happy about that man i'm glad to get this out the way and uh i'm glad it was a little bit easier to uh to get all the paperwork together that they was requiring you know just basically holding on to all your documents keep everything filed man so whenever something like this comes about for you if you start a new authority man just make sure you keep all your stuff you know just save everything man anything that you get any paperwork any receipts uh and all the other required stuff that you have to have in place to even get issued your dot number and your mc number because a lot of this stuff, they, I'm pretty sure they could have checked on their own, man. You know what I mean? But they just want to make sure, I guess, that you're still on top of your game and you got all your records. And uh, instead of them going to do all the research, trying to dig up all the files and stuff, you know, we supposed to have it in our possession, man, and shoot it over there to them. So hopefully he gets this stuff, man. I told him I wanted to get it to him before the Thanksgiving holiday. Hopefully he can get it and receive it. And I don't know what's the step after that. He replies in an email that everything is, is gravy for the company. And we don't have to worry about that no more. But once you do go through that FMCSA audit for new authorities, it's like it's really etched in stone, man, that you're a real stand-up trucking company, man. And it's a good feeling. Three days later. All right, guys. So uh, still working diligently on uh, gathering all the paperwork for this uh, FMCSA audit. 
I spoke to um, the CHP officer briefly. He let me know that I'm pretty much golden. Those was his exact words. You're golden. It's a couple items uh, that he wants me to send over to him to complete the audit. And they're fairly easy to get. One, he just wants me to send over my registration and proof of ownership of the trailer. I was unaware that they wanted, you know, the trailer description. Um, have to send that over. I already sent over the tractor description for uh, that one falls under your list of vehicles. Also, uh, like I was telling you guys, when you when you start your new authority, as you may know, you have to sign up with a drug testing consortium. And I did that. And I uh, sent over him the certificate that they sent me of my enrollment. And I also sent over a, uh, a receipt for proof of payment that I am enrolled in a uh, drug testing consortium. But uh, he said that wasn't enough. He said normally, you know, when you sign up with these drug testing companies, they're supposed to send you out on a pre-screened drug test. And I told them they hadn't done that. They just basically let me know, hey, we'll reach out to you within a year for drug testing or we might not reach back out to you. I mean, but your boy is squeaky clean, man. I don't even drink, don't do no smoking or none of that. You know what I mean? Not going to let that ruin my career. You feel what I'm saying? So um, I told them I'll get right on those first thing Monday. It is Monday. It's Cyber Monday. And we grind it, man. Up early, just drop wifey to her office, drop chatty chat to school. I called my uh, drug testing consortium and let them know what I need from them, my driver's list, and I need them to send me out for uh, a pre-screen drug test. So they already set that up for me. I'm on my way over there now. We finna go piss in the cup. Bruh. Get to see what's going on back here, man. Hear a lot of noise back here. What's happening? What's going on? What's going on? What's up with you? Huh? What's up with you? What's up with you? What's happening with you, man? He shitted and peed all over Chai's room, and he been biting on her dang on dresser, man. Release the Kraken! guys so we uh just took the dang on test man shout out to uh Anza Vista Enterprises man right here close to LAX airport man been real hanging out with y'all man tap in with y'all on the next vlog man be sure to subscribe hit the notification bell and like the vlog up for your boy guys see y'all on the next one man I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, y'all. I'm out, y'all. One year, one year anniversary, man. We did it, man. The man said we golden, man. We golden, man. I'm out.